So now that the cinema buzz are added, your film is ready. Congratulations. The only thing now that you need to do is export the final file. Now the export is pretty much industry terminology and it's the same on any edit software you use from beginner to advanced. And this is the language that even in high end studios is something that the editors speak import, export, color correct, uh, cinema bars. So the exporting is easy. So all you have to do is there'll be a share. Usually in phones, it shows as a share icon. You click on the Nikon to click on export, then select the quality. So always keep audio video the best. Since it's a Mac, it says ProRes. So you can keep ProRes or best and resolution is 1080p. That is the standard. Name the file. So over here, I'll just call it export for cinema bars so okay so oh, this is a file that i'm exporting before i add the cinema bars because it just makes it a bit easier because imovie has a <coughs> restraint where uh, you can only add two layers of visual so in this case i already have two layers so if i export a file and then import it back again i can add one more layer because after you export something it becomes one compressed whole. So, so this is something I'll do just to add the cinema bars. But that said, even after adding the cinema bars, the process is the same. All you do is click on the export icon. You can just do a bit of tinkering around to find out what is the export icon on your Windows editor. And then you can select the parameters. Always choose video and audio. Resolution minimum needs to be 720 or 1080 you can always keep it below that but that's the natural which all cameras today support even if you have shot the footage on your phone a lot of times it will give you the option to go up to 4k do that because that will be the best and perfect quality but keep in mind that 1080 should be bare minimum if you're looking at uploading on youtube and then once that's done you can just export your file to wherever, save it on your desktop, downloads, wherever, you're done. Your video is edited and you're ready to publish. Hope this gives you a bit of insight about how you can begin editing your project. And uh, of course, once you start, there are a lot of things you're going to pick up like uh, shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. I didn't mention a lot of keyboard shortcuts at this point because I just don't want to confuse you because the more you try to find out things for yourself and learn, the better you will get at it. So this is the actual fundamental process you need to follow. And if there's any issues you face, you can always Google it. You can always go on to YouTube and check. But if you're editing, this is something that uh, all editors follow as a process. And irrespective of their level of experience, they'll, they'll follow these steps in sequence. And it goes without saying that the more you practice, the easier it gets. It auto, it does, it's something that happens on autopilot. You won't have to spend time to think and okay, I'll create a lineup. You'll just do it automatically. And the good thing is the more you practice, you'll actually get to a point where you can skip some steps. For example, if you've already edited 100 videos, you've got a music bank of so many songs. If you've edited 100 videos, You'll probably have 150, 200 songs with you. So you can easily pick out songs. Then uh, even the process where we select the OK takes, you automatically know that, OK, this is the best portion and you'll just directly drag it onto your final edit. You won't go through the whole exercise of spending hours to just do the OK takes. So the more you do something, like I said, the process, the more you spend time mastering the process, it will just keep getting better and better. Hope you're able to begin your edits and uh, hope you make some great films. Do share them with me if possible on my email ID. I'd love to have a look at them. Wishing you all the best. There is one small exercise that I would like to leave you with, which you can try. If you want to begin your edit, record a video about uh, what you thought on this course. Record it, record about two, three different clips. Take it onto an edit system and try to edit it uh, in the way we just discussed. And do send these across to me. I would love to have a look at them and uh, just, just consider this as a small gift for me. And it would be a pleasure to see your work 
and do re feel free to reach out in case you have any questions or doubt on this all the best filmmakers